Well, at least the sun's shining, Churchill, despite all this, um... Death. Good God. Can we actually get up to these things? Um, well, pe people? Would they be people, I suppose? But, what? Oh, hey. Um, do you know what? Let's have a look inside. There might be meds. Quiet in here, what's this? Photon brew, hey. Dirty water, photon brew, hey. Getting loads of stuff. Oh, God bless it. Um, What can I ditch? Spring water, iron brew, iron brew, and nuka cherry. Hey, hey, awesome. Um, oh, what's that? Relax. Did I hear... God bless it. Oh, there you go. Ooh, Churchill, you're getting annoyed. You're missing. Let's just reload. Gross. And now you're dead. Stimpaks, brilliant. Hey, just reload. Take the Radex. All useful stuff, Churchill. All useful stuff. We really could do with some kind of... Um, home to call our own, could we not? I don't know why I just took the hero, because I do not do drugs. Uh, cans, yeah. Shopping basket, no thank you. Okay. Beans. Beans, beans! The musical fruit. We do not want the dog food. No, we do not. Take the crackers. Awesome. Whew. Okay, jeez Louise! Okay, is it dead? Or is it... Okay, apparently it's... Yeah, alright. Just, yep. Just gonna walk away. Sweets. Boiled, so that's a big bloody boiled sweet. Jeez, you choke on that bugger. Saffron rice. The... Booths, eh? Booths. Hmm. Interesting. Boiled sweet. We don't want the dog food. Churchill, trust me, you do not want said dog food. It is... Vile. Okay, what else have we got here? Wafers, hey. Take the wafers. Always take the wafers. Cigarettes. I don't smoke. Lots of cigarettes. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Ooh. Stim pack and a bobby pin in the doctor's bag. Nothing here? No. Whole heap of garbage. Alright, so what's in the room at the back then? Can we get it? Get in there? What's this? Okay. Door inaccessible. Well, God bless it, baby. All right, let's let's have a little peep. Can we get through here? Guess we have to just kind of oop, maybe climb on the shelf to get. No, maybe this side. Can I not go in here? Oh, Ministry of National Health. Collected an issue of magazines for the Ministry of National Health. Permanently inflict plus 2% limb damage. Hey, brilliant. Still 22. Ooh, okay. Well, Churchill. I don't think we can go back there, but we can um, certainly... Aha, right away, right away. I feel like I should be able to go in here, but I don't think I can get through. Unless there's some kind of secret entrance through the bloody fridge. Alright, let's, um, let's rock and roll then. Well, chemists aside, I fear there is no means to get up. Unless I can go this way. Maybe on this table. Ha ha ha! Perfect. Anything else up here? Any other goods? No. Well, what? 
Okay, we'll take the iron route. Um, Jesus. Whew. All right, Churchill. Well, I think, to be honest, puppy dog, we should um, start making tracks back to um, Captain Reasonable. And just see how reasonable he is. See if we get our recommendation. Hopefully it will be a resounding yes. Because I'm sick of running around like a bloody idiot. Hmm. What's that? Tourism office. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get many tourists now. Pinhead bowling? There's a bowling alley? Can we? Could we? Oh, God. No. No. We can come back. We can come back, Churchill. I think we should... Oh, God. I think we should crack on. Because I need to sell off some items. And we need to get rid of this ridiculous bloody... There we go. Weapons cache, because it's heavy as all hell. And then, I don't know, maybe we should check out that, that cult of dolls thing? That seems rather curious, doesn't it? What's in here? Is this somebody's little shack where they're living? Okay. Bloody rad rats. God bless it. There we go. Probably a wasted shot on this one, but you know what? I felt like it. I felt like it. <laughs> Churchill, you found some something. Yes, well, yes, well, we've not finished looting in here yet. Calm yourself down. Bloody hell, puppy dog. Kitchen scales. Oh, we can cook some stuff. I do have literally just some rad rat meat that I've just picked up, which is fine. Ooh. Take a peep. Oh. Oh, no. There. Oh no, a little bit more. Yes, look at that. Cryogenic grenade. Interesting. Yes. I don't really want the shot glass. Because, you know, I don't drink. But, um. Ooh, sardines. Cooking oil. We've still got to get that kid out of that chimney, haven't we? Mm, another thing to be doing. All right, well, let's cook up some stuff and then we will head back to um, Captain Reasonable. See if he can help us out. Oh, God, the longest walk in all of Christendom. Where is this, 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 this bloody, what was he called? Captain Reasonable? I think it's pretty unreasonable to make us walk all this bloody way. Jesus. All right, let's have a look. So... Captain Reasonable, where are you? So you're at Camden Underground Station, so we need to go up the road behind us, and it should be there. Okay, so this way. Brilliant. Oh. Is this some kind of show? Like a theatre show? Can we... Oh my god, I'm curious now. The Hippodrome. Um, Well, Pete won't, won't, won't be too bad with a little peep. Oh. So it is some kind of theatre, maybe? Who are you, sir? Scott Nightingale. Hello! You. Okay. I told you once, I won't tell you again. The light booth is up on the second level, understand? W uh, what? What in the world are you talking about? The light booth. The thing we use to light up the stage. Here, in the theatre. Remember? I don't work oh, here, mate. Don't make stagehands like the old days. Yep, don't work here, buddy. Sorry, um... I'm not a stagehand. Then you don't matter to me. Unless... What? Hold on a moment. If you're not a stagehand, you might be of some use to me. How would you like to make some money? It depends on what. Um... Yeah, I'm all ears. Go ahead. I am Scott Nightingale. Uh -huh. The director of Camden Theatre. And you have found me in the middle of preparations for Pitchel? my newest play. Okay. William Shakespeare's Macbeth. Oh. However, this production has been 
problematic. Well, it's Macbeth. Some amongst the crew believe this play to be cursed. Yeah. It's all nonsense, of course, but it's a commonly held superstition. Even the fanatics at the Globe Theatre don't dare perform Macbeth. Yes, it's uh, it's got a bit of a reputation, I believe. Um, tell me more about it. There's an ancient theatrical superstition which claims that speaking the name Macbeth inside a theatre leads to disaster. Now, because that's also the name of the damn protagonist, most actors refer to it as the Scottish play. Yep. Outside of rehearsals and performances. Yep. This is, of course, incredibly stupid. But a recent string of bad luck has led my cast and crew to believe the curse is in full effect. All right. So what do you need from me? I need you to help me with a small problem. Well, I'm we... missing part of the play. Okay. A minor part, not much to worry about. Just, uh, just the final act. So the ending, then. When Bloody the troupe at Shakespeare's Globe isn't murdering the bard's work on stage... They scour the waste for the surviving copies of his plays. They have Macbeth, including the fifth act. Okay. They're too afraid to perform it. Too afraid to give it away. They don't need it. I'm sure security is lax. Perhaps you could walk in and relieve them of their copy. Maybe. Um. Why not just ask for it? I want you to steal for art. Culture and the betterment of mankind. If that is not a worthy cause, I do not know what is. Churchill. Besides, oh, there I've you. already asked numerous times. Um. All right, I'll be on be my way then. It. Time is money. I will take as long as I please, sir. I do as I wish. Is this is this safe? Okay, yeah. The Scottish play, eh? Imagine Churchill. We could be on the stage. A double act. Ava and Churchill. Two adventurers on the highway of life. Why am I hearing a turret? Hello? Ooh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. In here, folks. Just you know. Oh, this is like a dressing room. A pompadour wig. Um, I don't think so, Churchill. We might be able to fit you with a hat. I think you'd suit a little hat. A bowler, maybe. Churchill with the bowler hat. Whiskey. Eh, no, I don't drink. Anything in here? Fancy hairbrush. Not really necessary. Thankfully. Stars dressing room. Oh, hello, Claudia Rampling. Don't mind me, love. Book. Eh. Don't mind me, I'm just, um, you know, surveying the scene. So, what's your story? Um, okay. Busy rehearsing, eh? Look like it. Shut the door on her. Slam it. Bam. Right in the face. Oh, well, there you are, Churchill. We've, um... Officially been on stage, mate. So we have to go and steal a play? I mean, like I say, I know he says he's asked for it, but has he really asked for it? Has he properly asked for it, or has he just kind of gone, oh, can I have the play, and they've gone no, and he's, that's it. Offer them something. Offer them some, I don't know. Some, oh, hello. Some, um... Money. Cash, coin, gold, you know. They won't be able to resist. Okay. But you won't, will you? No. Too bloody greedy. Would rather offer me the coin to go and risk my neck to get you some bloody play. Bloody play. Thank you. Well, do you know what? It pays the bills, doesn't it? it pays the bills. Oh, God. Okay. We want your kitchen waste. Pig food. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, uh, gross. Uh. Milk vending machine. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is not ideal, but... 
these all... Oh, hey. Nuka-Cola. Oh, they're just the bottles. Ah. Curse it! What's this? Is this something? Oh. Have a look at that in a minute. Let's just see if there's anything else here. Uh, gramophone, play a record. We don't have a record, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, Churchill, let's see if we can open this door. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, blast it. Damn you. There we go. Bam, and we're in. Makeshift battery. Of all the things that I would need, a makeshift battery is not one of them. Right, come on, Churchill. I suppose we should... In fact, let's check out upstairs first, and then we'll wander on and find Captain Reasonable and say, Hey, I love. Your guns are here. Sort it out. Okay. Ooh. Goes higher. Okay. Interesting. Deal. Get a nosebleed up here. Blimey. Well, there okay. you go, Churchill. The theatre, the lovely theatre. All right, let's have a look at the map just to be sure we're going the right way. Yes, we are. Marvellous. Oh, hey, you got the dog back. Nancy. Oh, you fucking did it. I did. Found anarchy. I Bless did. You. Um, well, you know, eh, no problem. Glad, glad yeah, to help. It's all I got anyway. And I feel like collar. this gives you a proper wicked look. The right one for a hero. Can Churchill Thanks win? Again. Would Churchill look good in it? It's about time I gave you that bath, isn't it? Churchill, would you? Would you? Would you? Would you okay. Um. Would it be something that Churchill can wear? No running away this time. Chur no, you won't wear it, will you? Well, you can carry it. You're a dog. You can carry a spiked dog collar. That's fine. You look like you're patiently waiting for me. What is it? Pistol. Do you need to wash your face, man? Like you're covered in dirt. I know it's the apocalypse and all that jazz, but bloody hell. Could at least, you know, um, clean yourself up a little. Are we going the right way here? We are not, of course. End of here. Left, then right. Okay. Left, then right. Well, do you know what? Taking some more of the Camden sites, I suppose. Police car, okay. So, this left. I think. And then right. Hello! Alright. Nice day, eh? Well, hmm. Oh, it looks, it looks a bit threatening, Churchill. I think it is going to rain at some point, mate. All right, old marvellous or reasonable or whatever the hell your name is. No, no, no going down the hole. Here he is. Dude, good How's news. Going? I got those guns you were after. Excellent. Great work. Uh, here's your signed endorsement, as promised. Thank God. The people of Camden owe you a debt. Finally. Actually, come to think of it, now we have these, I suppose I can spare this. As what? good as it is, truth be told, I'd rather be shot of it. Gift from Malcolm, you see. Once again, thanks. And don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't be. Uh, the Clash. 500 tickets as well. Hey, the only gun that matters. Hey, this looks kind of cool. Don't do much damage, though. Bloody hell. Well, all right, thanks, dude. Um... It was good of you. I mean, I'm now officially over encumbered, but you know. I suppose uh, that's fair. So we need to go to Apache Alice now, Churchill, and uh, give her the good news. We have the endorsement. Can I go in? Is this a shop? Can we go in the shop? Oh, God bless it all. All right. Oh, now we've offloaded some items. Let's go and see uh, Miss Alice again, eh, Churchill? See if she can offer us some... Something decent. Bloody hell. Whew. 
all this running around. I'm exhausted, puppy. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Had enough of this affair, I tell you what. Bloody hell. Everybody wants something. Nobody's willing to give you anything, are they? Not a cup of tea. Not a biscuit. Not a bloody... Bed for the night. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ugh. The gentry can go fudge themselves. Lovely. Mind the gap. Always, always. Crayons. Huh, okay. Well. Alright. Hello, mate. Oh, I didn't see this before. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Cyber Fox. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Oh. Bell. Hey, I kind of like that. Oh, I didn't check out this terminal, did I, last time, Churchill? But... Very, very strange decor. Okay. Yeah. Very not loud in here. Taste the first pint on your lips already. Eh? Hello. I heard tell Churchill that there may be something useful, useful for us in here. Just through the grapevine. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Bloody hell. Is this like a... Oh, no. Oh, I'm not performing. Forget it. I'm out. Okay. Jeez Louise. Books. Okay. Where's where's Alice? Let's go and find Alice, shall we? You know, that, that stuff will make you loopy. Maybe it won't have much effect, given, um, you know... Given the way these folks are, Ooh. I would like to have a look in here. Do you do you support wait, anarchy times? Oh. Could we? Do you know what? Let's go and see Alice first. Maybe we'll get a key to it. Yeah, me neither. It's bloody loud in here. Jeez, excessively so. Are these like shops? Lubo. Hello. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm all right. Don't worry. Um. All right. Alice. Good news, love. Good news. So, what did Palmyra and the captain have to say? <sighs> they have both agreed to sponsor me. Did they really? That's yes. Quite the testament. It may be the fastest anyone has ever secured two sponsors. Mm. If I wasn't impressed already, I am now. Well, jolly good. The person I'd like to speak to is John Strutter. More people! <sighs> Does John have an issue too? Not like Palmyra or the captain, but yes. I'll let him explain. Can you tell me anything about him? John is... Uh, we'll see. He's at a rough go, but if you ask me... He belongs in Camden as much as any of us do. Get a feeling he's going to be a ghoul. But, um, do you know what? I'll, I'll be, be back. Here. Fine. Bloody hell, woman. You couldn't have told me about him before, could you? Crying out loud. <sighs> All these people want... Oh, I'm annoyed, Churchill. I think we're being taken advantage of here. Being used as a... As a... As a, um... A gopher. And I don't like it. I'm not here to be somebody's I mean run around errand girl. Good grief. Here. We seem to get on better than that. Well, I'd like to get into um Houses of Parliament. Yes I would. In order to um speak with Smythe. But I don't, I just get a feeling we're going to be running around like Egypts for for ages. Bloody hell. Big pieces of meat. Good lord. Okay. Yeah. 
got a lot of stuff in here, Churchill. None of it massively useful. Oh dear. Do you have a bad bad meal or something? Oh, oh pry any further. Oh my god. Oh. It's too Well, I don't want to talk about anything with you, love. So do you know what? Do what you want. Sorry, folks, don't mind me. I'm just going to, yep, slip through here. Um, just having a little nosy around your establishment. Hope you don't mind. Jessica Starr. Well, hey, Jessica. Hey, oh, all right. All right, bloody hell. I'll bet that you did, dear. Is it? Is it really? Hello. Do they? Well, will be if you're drinking stuff out of a cistern. What? My God. Okay, Churchill. Let's um, mosey on. Uh, mosey on upstairs. I don't want to know what that was on the stairway there. It's troubling. I feel troubled having just glanced it. What are you doing? Strange individual. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, mate. General. Is this some kind of shop? Hello. What's a bell? All right, let's have a look. Sonnet terminal. Oh, that's excessively loud. Okay, so Miller's men doing what they do best. Word around Cyberfox is that some of the baldy B-words over at Miller's Men have been stirring up trouble lately, taking swings at our pistols crew now and again. Their main focus seems to be on the roundels, poor gits, but it's worth keeping a sharp eye out for any sneaky moves they might make. They ain't the hairiest people in the hairdressers, but they're not to be underestimated. Hmm. The Liberty Spike? spoke to a trader earlier and they said about how the Liberty Spike outpost is still standing strong. I'll tell you what, Mr. Terminal, it's a surprise to everyone, really. Given the rough conditions and constant threats right out of their doors, you'd think it'd have fallen apart by now. Hats off to those lot for hanging in there and keeping the place going. Bloody great job, if you ask me. Alright. Atkins Boogie. Just thought I'd shout out about the Atkins robots. Well, it turns out they're brilliant dancers. Never thought I'd see a bunch of metal lads busting moves like pros, but they're really quite impressive. Makes for a good laugh and a decent show. Okay, Apache Alice. I know we're supposed to be having a great council that works it all out for us, but meh. As far as I'm concerned, our girl Apache Alice is leading like a true champion. Her skills and decisiveness have been top-notch, keeping everyone in line and getting things done right. Not an easy task at fudging all. We're lucky to have her steering the Cyberfox ship, and I'll tell you what, Mr. Terminal, she's really showing what a great leader looks like. Maybe she'll bump off the council altogether soon, eh? Well, maybe. Maybe, Sonnet. Maybe. You're Sonnet, aren't you? Yes, with the funky hairdo. Hello? Well, um, yeah, thanks. All right, so we're gonna go and find another dude now who wants some help for crying out loud. Can nobody do anything for themselves here? Seriously. It's like one thing after the bloody other. Honestly, in and out, in and out. Come here, go there, do this, get that, kill those people. Jeez Louise. Would it be entirely wrong if I took a little yeah, snooze in here? At first, but the polycule might be the way to go. We seem to get on better the less we see of each other. What? 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 What's a polycule? I've never heard of this thing. A polycule. Oh, well, I could do with a rest, but oh, what if I sleepwalk? I've got to risk it, haven't I, Churchill? I'm exhausted. But well. Stay by my side, puppy. Watch out for, um... Trouble. 